good y'all this is casey supreme with internet money today i'm doing a cook up in the style of party next door or drake maybe even bryson tiller kind of like his don't vibe um where the drums are really spaced out it's really hard hitting um and i'm gonna do like a lead too i'm gonna play out a lead so you guys can see all that so yeah that's what we're gonna do today so without further ado let's get it all right so to start this cook up off we're gonna open electra x and i have in my Electra X preset bake Aventador. I have a pad called PND. Sounds like this. So I'm just gonna tap out my tempo. So we're gonna go with the slower, more party next door, Drake influence type track. So I'm gonna lay down. Just like that, more spaced out chords. Okay, we're gonna go back, quantize that. Put a note at the end and do control L. So that's gonna sound like this. So I'm gonna do control A to select all. I'm gonna do all S to strum it. I don't wanna strum the time because it's a pad. So I'm just gonna strum the velocity out like that. So now I'm going to send this to a mixer channel so I can EQ it. I'm gonna quantize that, shift D. Actually, just leave them like that. So I'm just gonna play it out by hand. Definitely mess it up a little bit, but I'm gonna quantize it. So basically, I'm just gonna take this first bar because it was basically perfect. Um, and just kind of do that four times. All right, so we got this little like. It's almost like a crash. So we just need to time it right, so we're gonna do project tempo. It's still not right. 
So what I'm going to do to fix that is I'm going to put this in the playlist. Zoom in. And then we're just going to take this time knob and stretch it until it matches. Just like that. And then we're going to put it on stretch so it doesn't change the pitch. that to a mixer channel turn it down I'm gonna take this tail off so it's easier to place it just like that oh my bad All right, now I'm gonna change the envelope for this open hi-hat. Add that to the mixer channel, turn it way down. Quantize that. I actually want this one to go lower. Right now I'm going to add a kick. So with the kick I'm just trying to do kind of like a weird different pattern that you normally wouldn't do. Um, that's kind of how they do it in a lot of party next door tracks. So now I'm just going to go back and clean it up because I was definitely off time. I'm going to add a hi-hat over the top. And I'm going to do shift D to make them all the same length and stretch them out. Them out like that. I'm going to take out this fourth hit. And now I'm going to go and change my snap to 1 6 beat. Go to my paint tool. Pull this all the way back. Repeat that twice. Put my snap back to sell.
All right, now we're gonna add a second melody. Got some leads. It's gonna kind of play around with those. So now I'm going to add a second pattern here so I can just kind of freestyle the lead over the top. up a lot but I can go back and clean it up now so now I'm just gonna go back and kind of touch it up um, make sure it's perfect <laughs> try moving this lead down an octave to match the first one so there you guys have it that's how to make like a party next door like Bryce and Tiller don't style beat um, just kind of with the spaced out drums and the melodic shit and stuff like that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment below and let me know what kind of challenges or videos you guys want me to do. Appreciate y'all. See y'all in the next video.